podcast. Hello and welcome to Brew Games Podcast with myself, Joe, and Adam. And uh, this is episode zero. This is the inaugural episode where we get uh, our feet wet a little bit, see what we're going to do about this. Um, naming this episode, Let's Dive In. And uh, the reason why we're doing this podcast uh, is we both enjoy drinking beer, root items. It doesn't have to be beer. We might do tea at some point or coffee, depending on how crazy we want to get. But mostly it's going to be beer. And uh, we like playing video games, and uh, we both have an extensive Steam catalog, among other things, of games that we picked up because of winter sale on Steam, summer sale on Steam, random weekend deals, midweek deals, uh, that we haven't really touched ever. We just wanted to get it because it was cheap, and we thought we'd play it sometime. Right? Pretty much, yeah. yeah. So the idea is that... Um, Every two weeks, we're going to get together, shoot a podcast, we're going to challenge each other to uh, a beer, or introduce each other to a beer, I should say, uh, but then challenge each other to a game from each other's Steam list. Um, so we will have two weeks to play that game, come back, report on how we felt about that game, uh, we're going to try and capture some footage as well for the video version that we'll be putting on YouTube. Um, yeah, that's about it. That's what uh, this podcast is all about. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's get into the beers. And uh, you want to go first or should I go first? I'll go first. You've talked a lot, sure. I guess. <laughs> Beer I've chosen for you is the Bernard Dark Lager. It's the self, self-titled self World's Best Dark Lager. It's an unpasteurized, uh, unfiltered lager made from four types of malt. It comes from the Czech Republic. It was the brewery, Bernard Brewery, was established in 91 when it purchased another brewery that had gone bankrupt that had been around since the 16th century. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce it this long. <laughs> Fair enough. So enjoy. Alrighty. And, uh, well, should we just have mine go first and do the taste test? Sure. Or? It's a good start. It's a good start. <laughs> All over the important electrical cable. Oh, yeah. That's okay. That's why they're covered in plastic slash rubber. Well, so far, the foam tasted pretty good. Yeah. So I'm enjoying that. It's definitely a dark lager. You get quite a bit of head on it. In addition to the one that came out. <laughs> hmm. Not bad. It's very, very smooth, very easy drinking. Um, nothing really stands out to me. But uh, it's definitely enjoyable. I haven't tried it, so I either. So uh, I can't agree or disagree. Fair enough. So uh, the beer that I've chosen for Adam is uh, the Optimus Prime, if you want to show it off to the folks. Now, this is by Ruckus Brewing Co., and uh, they don't really have any history um, about them that I could find on the web. Uh, their website has a picture of their Optimus Prime, as well as two other beers that they produce, and they have a Contact Us page. That's about all they have. Not really a lot of history, but... Uh, one thing I did find, uh, which I think is a neat piece of trivia, is that um, they purchased, um, through a series of handing offs, a company that originally started called Reading Brewery. Um, and this was started by a gentleman back in 1886 named Philip Bessinger. And uh, they were a very popular brewery. Um, up until Prohibition times, where, of course, authorities didn't like beer. They wanted to shut down all people that were making any kind of alcohol, et cetera, et cetera. Um, 
when they tried to tear down the factory, they actually couldn't bust the padlock. So the brewery was saved from being demolished. And eventually they started back up, um, but they had a hard time staying open for more than a decade. It seemed like they'd be doing okay for a while, and then all of a sudden they have to close the doors again. And this happened until uh, 2009 when the now Ruckus Brewery purchased it from the previous owner, Legacy Brewing, which is the company that started the Hoppinless Prime. So, you want to give it a try? All right. I know you're not a big fan of hops. <laughs> not particularly, but I'm a big fan of beer. Yeah. So I'll give it a shot. There's no cascade of foam coming over this time, so that's, <laughs> that's always a good start. You're dry and I'm still wet. <laughs> a good color to it. Yeah, it does. All right. Big Transformers fan too. They have a nice logo of a Optimus Prime made out of hops. Very nice. I don't like that. Let's give this a try. It's quite hoppy, but even still not being a fan of hoppy beers, I do actually quite like it. It's it's fairly smooth. It's uh, trying to pin down the taste. It's yeah. So I read that it um, it's got a blend of I believe three or four different hops, uh, matched with uh, two or three different malts to get that nice balanced flavor, where you get the nice aroma and hoppiness, but it's not overpowering. It Would is. Would you agree with that? Absolutely. It yeah. is quite nice. Nice caramel color. I kind of wish I bought two of those. <laughs> <laughs> you want to try some? Sure. Let's see. You want to try mine? Sure. Do a little swapper. Hmm, that is quite nice. I have to agree with you on the uh, Bernard. It's not. Nothing stands nothing out. Nothing stands out. Yeah. It's just like. Uh, taste some coffee. A little bit. A little bit. No. No, I'm, I'm, on that. I'm very much a dark beer fan, but I think this time I'd have to actually go with the uh, Optimus Prime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so too. I think it's the, the better of the two. Definitely stands out a lot more. All right. So with that done, kind of short and sweet, I guess, for now. But uh, we're going to discuss. Uh, normally, we'd be discussing the games that we played, but of course this being the first episode that we're calling episode zero, we haven't played any games yet. No footage, this is just our episode to, you know, do the challenges, see what we're going to challenge each other to play. So, um, since you... I started had with the beer, so why don't you start with the, the beer games? first? Yeah. Well, I drank the beer first, so I feel like in a way I went first. So... How does that work? I should tell you. Yeah, that's what you This will get smoother as time goes on. Yeah, of course. So yeah, um, I want to challenge you to uh, a game called Darksiders. Uh, this is a game that I played myself a little bit on the Xbox 360 a couple of years ago. Uh, never did complete it though, uh, even though there's no reason for me not to. Um, I thought it was a fantastic game, but I noticed that uh, Adam had it and uh, has zero hours in it, so obviously he hasn't played it yet. And uh, I think it would be great for him to jump into that world and uh, give it a go and come back to us and let us know what he thinks of it. Absolutely. I've uh, heard a lot about it, but I know nothing about it. I don't even know what kind of game it is, to be honest. I don't even remember when I purchased it. So, I don't know, maybe I was drunk. <laughs> but it must have been cheap. So uh, yeah, a lot of I'm people say it's like a, kind of like a Zelda, but... Mm, Zelda meets Devil May Cry with like the quick time action button kind of scheme thing going on. Okay. But yeah, we're running into mm -hmm. dungeons and have to clear them out kind of thing like Zelda. So I think you'll like it. It's pretty fun. Right on. I'm excited to try it. Excellent. The game I have picked for you is uh, Brutal Legend, which came out in 2009. 
I loved this game. I did play it and complete it. It's uh, quite funny. And it's a lot of cameos from people. It's very awesome. You play as a roadie, uh, voiced by Jack Black. And during one of the concerts you're being the roadie for, you get transported to an alternate world that's been created and influenced by heavy metal. And I know you're not a heavy metal fan so much, but I think it appeals to a bigger audience than that. It's quite an enjoyable game. It's a third-person hack-and-slash, but it also has RTS elements that you'll find that I don't think has been done before in this kind of combination. So without giving too much away, there's cameos from Ozzy Osbourne and Lenny from Motorhead, and it's quite fun. I think you'll really like it. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I did hear about this game a few years ago. Um, was super excited about it. Um, I actually own it twice and still haven't played it, which is kind of sad. Um, from the Humble Bundle? Bought it for the 360. When it came up for the 360, I was like, this game looks awesome. And I saw it at the E3 before it came out. And uh, they showed very little footage, but just the fact that it was a Tim Schafer game uh, and Jack Black was the main character totally had me hooked. Um, I don't know why I never actually opened the disc and put it in my 360. And then when I saw it on a summer sale or winter sale for like, I don't know, something stupid, like $5 or something, I was like, well, I haven't been playing my 360 much anymore. I've been more into the PC gaming again, so I had to get it for PC and still haven't touched it. So uh, I'm really happy with your, your choice here, and I'm looking forward to playing this game. I'm pretty excited. All right. Excellent. Well, good luck. Cheers. Cheers. So now with the uh, game challenges um, revealed, be revealed, sorry. Uh, normally we'd be going into the mailbag section where we would answer uh, Twitter messages, Facebook, email, any way you guys have a chance to contact us uh, with questions. We'll like to uh, answer those for you guys on a podcast. Being the first episode here, the inaugural, of course, we don't have any uh, questions yet. But if you do have a question, uh, our Twitter is Brews and Games. So Brews, letter N, Games, all one word. Uh, on Facebook, facebook.com slash Brews and Games. Contact us on either of those or Brews and Games at gmail.com. Is another way you can contact us. Uh, let us know if you have any questions, any suggestions for beers that we need to try, uh, any games that maybe we don't have on our Steam list yet that you think we should have. Uh, definitely let us know about those. Um, as for reaching us outside of the Brew Games, do you have any way you want to be contacted? Do you have a Twitter or anything? Not that I really use. Maybe if I get more active on it, though. Yeah. It might have to if this yeah. takes off. <laughs> Even if it doesn't, I think you should start getting into it. On Twitter? Yeah, entice them so they entice you, and then everyone All right. gets enticed, you know? My account that I haven't used in a while is at Alpha Drake, A L P H A D R A K E. Sure. And uh, my Twitter is uh, at J Evans. Um, Pretty simple, J E B A N S. Um, yeah. Uh, what else should we talk about before we end this podcast? Does that pretty much cover it? I think that covers it. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for listening, and we hope to have uh, a video of this as well up on YouTube. So look forward to that, and we will see you next time.